I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. No, I didn't break any hearts when I left. So you guys broke up? Something like that. And you're just bursting at the seams to talk about it. You really are very perceptive. I know. It's one of my many gifts, along with accents and impeccable night vision. Incredible. Why, thank you very much, Governor. I'm getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing.
if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Ugh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that.
I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Asking. Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC, or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. 
good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. 
They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well... I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Yeah, actually. Look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking.
All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... What? What could we do? Fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem, bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
What the? Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry! I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... are you sure you saw what... what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just... oh, this just seems like a... like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, Dee? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... Crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. We should just get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hiked through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I am not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Okay, we, we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. You're right, you're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Oh, Delilah, there's a big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Wait, what the fuck is going on out here? Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine.
Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan.
Have you ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I've got to go and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? 
I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush.
Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and and you Delilah you're not real Henry Henry think about her if what happened to her were happening to you you wouldn't even be able to realize it okay Henry sweetie I am real and this is happening I'm as real as the sky is blue take a second and then call me back I'm on your side Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Yeah, I told you not to say anything. You agreed with me. I know I did. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this.
Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Ah, oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> 